everybody welcome to teensy vintage this is Teresa and today we are working in my large dilutions notebook um, I know you see the smaller square one right now but I switch it out because this bridal party uh, image that I've got is just too big and I said we need a bigger we need a bigger boat <laughs> No, we need a bigger journal, so I just swapped it out um, for the large journal, which um, I think turned out fine. I have mixed feelings about this. This page grew on me. I didn't really care for it after I finished it. In fact, I didn't really care for it when I was halfway through it, but uh, what are you going to do? Honestly, what you're going to do is you're going to keep going and, um, and see what happens. I, I'm somebody who needs to know what happens, and I can't leave a half-done uh, artwork. So, I, I finished it. Uh, and I think now I really like it. But at first, I wasn't sure. And uh, I don't know. Maybe y'all will really like it, or you won't really like it. Let me know in the comments. You're not going to hurt my feelings uh, if you offer your uh, criticisms constructively. I don't mind that. Um, don't be ugly. We don't need that. We got plenty of that in the world already. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. I, I think the contrast between the background and the foreground works. Um, so this photo, this image came from a cookbook that I got, uh, of, out of a free bin. It was an old Southern Living cookbook, I think from the late seventies, early eighties. But anyway, it had all of these, um, uh, Victorian images inside. And in fact, this one is a bridal party. Oh gosh. I think from, oh goodness, 1903. So it's actually not Victorian. It's Edwardian. Um, it's American, so it doesn't really matter. Let's be honest. Um, but yeah, these ladies are all the attendants of the bride. Uh, apparently, the recipes were all for a bridal luncheon. It was very cute. Um, I was kind of stunned. Oh, here's the big journal. Yeah. I was kind of stunned. I was like, that's a lot of attendance. Um, let's see. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And maybe one of those is like a flower curl, maybe? So, either this lady uh, was very popular, or she had a lot of cousins. Or maybe she had a lot of sisters. I don't know. Either way, a lot. Um, gosh, that, yeah, that's intense. I only had uh, uh, two attendants at my wedding, which was great. It was plenty. Um, I guess if you need nine attendants, you you go for it. Uh, how many attendants did you have at your wedding if you got married? That would be interesting. Let me know in the comments. Um, anyway, I am gluing down some texture for the background. This is vintage dictionary page and a printable that had some kind of ledger um, text on it. And here I am just kind of zhuzhing everything and making sure everything fits. Um, I kind of made a mistake here of gluing that dictionary page down first because actually what I wanted was to put the dictionary page over the taller page, but oops, sometimes my brain and my hands don't talk to each other. So I went to this old book here and got out a page with a chart on it, and I'm going to throw that in there just to give a little more interest. And at the end of the day, this is going to be covered up with ink and paint and, and gesso and other things. So, I don't know. But I really felt the urge to make this look uh, the way that I felt was best. So, here is all of that process. A little more auditioning. And I'm using a pencil to kind of mark the spot where I want this um, scrap to go. And I'm just using a flat piece of plastic to smooth everything out so that there's no bubbles um, and that I get a nice even adhesion on these pieces. I'm just using a good old glue stick. It's a scotch purple glue stick. Um, this is great for 
you know, the vintage papers for uh, copy paper, you know, uh, printer paper, very lightweight papers. It's a nice glue for those kinds of things. You won't get any bubbles or squishy parts. <laughs> All right, so now I feel pretty happy with this background and uh, it's time to start putting down some color. So this is uh, Tim Holtz Distress Oxide ink in persimmon, right persimmon. This is a brand new ink for me. I literally just opened it. I bought this um, for uh, as part of my little birthday gift to myself a couple weeks ago because I wanted a bright, happy orange. And boy, howdy, this is a very bright orange. I love it. Um, I was really pleased with how bright this turned out. And I am just using a little water and a paintbrush to put this ink on the page. And I'm kind of adding some in concentration in certain spots to make it darker when it dries. So there'll be some contrast there, some variation. And now I need to find a, a color that will be a good complement. So I've got two blues and I'm auditioning them. One is the Mermaid Lagoon, which is a very pretty blue. And the other is Uncharted Mariner, which is that dark stormy kind of blue. And I picked that one. For a bridal party, maybe I should have gone with the brighter mermaid color, but I don't know. I love Uncharted Mariner. It's got a lot of depth to it and it's just a pretty deep blue got some gray going on in there so that's the color I went with um, and I'm gonna dry it and make sure this paper is dry before we move on to the next um, phase that middle spot I didn't add any ink to because it's gonna have the image glued over it and doesn't need the ink anyway Okay, there's our ladies. This this particular image from the book is very yellowy. Um, and I'm going to guess it has something to do with the age of the photo and the reproduction um, technology of 1979, 1980, when that book came out. Um, there really wasn't anything I could do about it. Yes, I could have made a photocopy of it. Uh, and I thought about it, but I was like, you know what? I've just got this image. I'm not going to be too precious about it because it wasn't that amazing of an image and I just went ahead and used it. Um, now I am using another new toy. This stencil is from Joggles. It's a St. Hilaire stencil, a uh, Art Nouveau theme, and this one's just called Nouveau Stencil. Elizabeth St. Hilaire is an artist who works a lot with Joggles and um, put out this series of beautiful Art Nouveau themed stencils, uh, I want to say in April or May, recently, and they're great. Um, so this is one of them, and I'm going in with a Payne's Gray acrylic paint and my cosmetic wedge to add this design to the page. And looking at it now, it's pretty intense. Since I've got this big open space, I decide to be a little bit extra and use a specific Kaiser Craft Fancy Flourish um, uh, stencil. This was a series that they put out, gosh, I want to say a few years ago. Little green stencils, and this one's just kind of a filigreed uh, leaf motif. Uh, as always, I will list all of the supplies that I use in the description below. And if you have any questions, just put it in the comments and I will do my best to get that back to you. But yeah, so just to be different, I put that, you know, one little, little uh, stencil down there. So this is very intense. So I got out our pal, the white gesso. Got to cut off the edge of the sponge and reuse it for this gesso. And now I'm just going in and kind of covering up some spots to kind of push back that very intense Payne's Gray and the persimmon and the blues. So to just help the image, the focal point, stand out more. Um, you don't want too much competition with your background because then your eye doesn't know where to go. 
And now I'm just going to use my finger and the sponge to go in and, and add this white gesso where, where it feels right. Um, just kind of putting a nice kind of cloudy, foggy glaze over the photo. I also had a little bit of the Payne's Gray left, so I'm mixing it with my finger and the white gesso to make that bluey gray. And I'm also going around the page with my finger to add that as another layer. And places where I want to have a little more coverage, I'm going to use the sponge. And it blends very nicely. Okay, so we put our ladies back on there, make sure we're on the right track. And um, here's where I'm, I'm starting to wonder, gee, is this going to work? I don't know. But you got to keep going. So I am keeping going. Um, I didn't realize that this was a spot where I wasn't doing something. Oh, there I am. Okay. So we're going to clean up our desktop just a little bit here. Put our ladies down. Let's see. I just saw, you know what? It needs to have a dark spot. There's a lot of white back there now, and I want to kind of give a shadow, so to speak, so that the background looks like it's receding uh, visually. Let's make sure that's nice and dry. It's always good to dry your layers in between applications so they don't smudge or blend into each other in ways that you don't intend. And now I'm getting out a gold gel pen and I'm going to just outline um, some of the stencil in the black. I don't know what inspired me to do this. I just did it. It kind of came out looking creepy cool. <laughs> um, it looked a little skeletal, like, you know, some bones maybe, just because of the shapes um, in this particular stencil. Um, there was one section where uh, the pen slipped, so I decided to fill it in with the gold pen. <laughs> you know, you, you make a, a mistake and you make a fix. And yeah, like I said, you keep going. All right. So now there's a, a weird symbol back there. Um, and now I'm going to look for a sentiment. This is a bunch of uh, little sections that I cut out of an old book. I think it was an old Nancy Drew book. So there's a lot of very uh, over-the-top sentences in there. Uh, I'm going to glue down the focal point with a bit of the art glitter clear glue just because this paper is sturdier and can take it and you really don't need to use that much glue and there's our sentiment um i don't know i just was feeling cheeky at this point this is about an hour into the process um <laughs> And so uh, the sentiment is a little dark and to me kind of funny. You know, here's this group of women. They're all there to see somebody get married, their friend, their relative. And they were like, uh-oh, something is wrong. Oh, anyway, a uh, little bit of Stabilo Marksall uh, pencil just to give it a, a, an outline, a shadow, a smidge of water. And, uh, and this is it. Thanks for watching y'all. I really appreciate it. I, uh, hope that you will like and subscribe and I will see you next time.